Hey, in fast, 25th of July, 2019, and I am not typically led to look at things pertaining to money and finances, uh, but this morning I was led to do this uh, just to, I guess, put out a heads up of some sort. Um, I don't fully understand it, but I know that it's something that someone may need to know, and the message I'm getting out of this is that they are gearing up for uh, this financial system calamity to take place. It's being telegraphed pretty clearly. Uh, the IMF and JP Morgan came out simultaneously, basically, on, on the same day, uh, Tuesday, and the IMF downgraded the world growth. Oh dear, it's going to be precarious. And J.P. Morgan is warning that the dollar could lose its status as the world's currency, which has been floated out there before. But in this case, since they're coming out simultaneously, and that I get a random Bible verse that really said it to me, to seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness, and all things will be added unto you. All things that you need will be added unto you, right? In 1 Timothy 6, the love of money, the root of evil. You need to understand that it's a spiritual war and that God does provide. He'll provide you with money if you're following and seeking after him and his righteousness. That's just the way it works. you got to turn from the love of this world and the love of money and live in Christ. Right? The opposite of evil. Because these people telegraphing this is no accident. They do this every single time okay so just remember that that's what it is it's it's a message to the elite essentially get out of the dollar move your money i personally have moved out of the 401k i did that a few years ago because once these markets start to downfall everyone's nest egg you know my whole family people i know they all depend on this for their quote retirement this is their their fallback their their nest egg if you will and those 401ks are going to take a major hit if these markets turn now, i don't know anything about how markets work i'm certainly not a financial advisor but this is what i've done and this is how i understand it because at some point sooner than later Markets are going to turn very badly, all right? And you need, first and foremost, a relationship with your Father in Heaven through Jesus. You know, His Holy Spirit is an absolute to know and navigate what's coming, people. I'm just telling you, use your God-given sound mind to make sure that you can feed and protect your family. And whatever you do, you don't take the mark. And you'll know what it is when it's offered up to you. You know what I'm saying? Because all wars, all these wars that we see brewing and the financial garbage that's happening, it's all bankers, it's all the love of money, Satan's money puppets, just working what they do. This is all it is, people, and they want you to live in that fear of not having enough and keep you trapped in their system. you got to engage this from a spiritual perspective and remember that Jesus is Lord over all. Okay, so that was one thing I wanted to show you, and uh, I will leave these links so that you can look at these. The other thing I wanted to show you has to do with this crazy NASA airplane that was flying around the other day that was spotted outside of L.A., very low, causing people to stop on the highways and whatnot, and NASA won't tell people what it was, what they were doing. They simply won't do it. The news reported it, but they just laughed like, oh, ha, ha, it must be a secret. But this is serious because what they were doing was doing a, a some sort of mission over the very places where these earthquakes have been happening, all the way from Los Angeles right up to San Andreas, this whole area. This is where they were combing uh, with their their airplane, okay? And I'll leave all these links so you can see this stuff. But this is what they were doing all down L.A. and all up back and down through the valley. And all those earthquakes are happening over here 
and the San Andreas Fault runs right through here, so on and so forth. They were up to something, and they won't tell us what it is. I mean, it's just crazy. And I was just looking at a few of these numbers associated with this flight. I mean, this is just bizarre, you guys. The flight took off at 11.17. That 11.17, man, I'm telling you, it will not go away. These sevens are just everywhere. That's a finality. That's something coming to a completion, okay? This 717 stuff is just pretty bizarre, you know? It's not an accident. And NASA 817 is the identifier of this plane. And it's interesting that they're flying all up and down these fault zones. And 817 in the Hebrew literally means guilt. By implication, a fault. How is that even possible? And this thing is flying all over these fault zones. It's just bizarre, you guys. And I noticed, too, I don't go to too many weather websites, but this IntelliCast used to be my go-to, and apparently they got bought up, and now it's just junk. It used to be a really good weather website. And guess who bought it up and destroyed it and made it stupid? IBM. The weather company, if you can believe that. IBM. The same people who brought you the Nazi uh, concentration camp tracking system, IBM. Same people who came with the Nazis with paperclip directly related to NASA. This secret flight. I'm just telling you. And then they released this article yesterday. Okay, you get, you just got to get your mind around this stuff. That NASA's saying that the Earth's rotation is slowing. And it could cause major earthquakes, pre-programming the people and setting them up for what they know is coming. I don't know that they know exactly when these things are coming, but they know they're coming. And they're not telling you and me, IBM, the weather company, are you dead serious? So they're flying over faults in a plane that literally means fault. So... I don't know how else to explain this stuff. It's just a heads up. And oh yeah, IBM and, and NASA are literally blood relatives. Okay? They both came from the same satanic Nazi Kabbalist stock. They just did. NASA came out of Nazi Germany and IBM was there building Nazi Germany. I mean, you got to know this. And there's that relationship again between that guy and we know and Trump and the chemtrails. And now IBM who really organized the logistics for the concentration camps, is known as the Weather Company. See? Chemtrails. IBM. The Weather Company. Think about this. The Weather Company and IBM business, powered by the IBM cloud. You see what I'm saying? This is all just satanic, ritualistic, to keep people in the trap and not seek the truth of Jesus Christ which is what you need to get through any of this. So I pray you seek him first, foremost, and always. Keep looking up, because they didn't stop chemtrailing. I can tell you that right now. And IBM's main quantum computer is called Q. So you tell me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How can, how can you even get around this stuff when IBM's quantum computer is called Q? Right? I'm just saying, you guys, all these things are just pre-programming because they're rigging it up. They're getting ready. The wars, the financial collapse, the earthquakes, they know it's all coming. So don't fall for it. Seek Jesus and you'll be just fine. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 